Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we're getting it all in Mad Streets. Now this was developed and published by Craft Shop Arts and is usually available for £12.49 slash $14.99 but has just been included with Xbox Game Pass so that is Mad Ting Skibbity Toilet Bowl Fresh Bruh. Yes, I'm young now. Uh, anyway, Mad Streets is a physics-based sort of party game, uh, basically mashed up and meshed with a brawler. Uh, so you basically, yeah. So thinking of, you know, Street Fighter connected with um, the Human Fall Flat. Yeah, you know. Anyway, as for achievements, now you can get this done in easily an hour and with a second controller as well. Uh, so if you have a second controller, that's great. If not, you can still get the rest of the achievements, the ones I'm going to show you shortly. Now, before there was one achievement for um, completing a match or completing a fight as four human-controlled characters. You don't need four controllers. We're going to be doing that online with just two characters, as you'll see. Uh, but all in all, like I said, with the sort of, quote, main story, if you want to say that, it'll take about an hour to complete. So... With that being said, let's do it. And again, I'm just assuming here that you've got two controls. So we're going to go into fight. We're going to go into rumble. We're going to go on to airplane. You can go on to anyone, but airplane's the easiest one. Um, so just pick a character with each of your controls. Again, if you don't have two controllers, you can still do this because the AI in the game are generally very easy anyway. But obviously, I'll just be showing you exactly what to do so you know uh, how to do it. So what we're going to do, we're going to pick last man and make sure to, that all players start with two lives. Okay, and we're going to get two achievements straight off the bat. It's going to go quicker than a quick ting and a pick ting now. Press any button to continue. Let's do it. All right, so what we're going to do as the second player, we're just going to jump straight out of the plane. And that's it. Run. Run. He's gone. So we're going to do that twice. So with, again, that was that is with your second player. And those two achievements we're going to get is for winning a game without dealing damage and winning a fight without taking any damage. Um, so, yes. So you can do that. If you've got a friend who can play this online as well, if you are having problems getting those two in single player, then obviously you can do the, um You can ask a friend to help you online with that one. But that's the easiest way to get that. Otherwise, we'll head back. We're going to go back into Rumble. We're going to go back onto Airplane. Uh, I, I did quit out for some reason. Um, didn't mean to do that because we're actually going to be grabbing a, another two. Uh, this time, I just went for most knockouts. So most KOs. I just put most knockdowns in five minutes just to give us a little bit of time. But the next two achievements we're going for is for shoving a fighter off a stage and knocking out a fighter with our mad attack. Now... As you're going to see in the bottom is obviously the health bars because it is a fighter after all. Now, when you see like a when you do enough damage, you'll see a little flame above your character's head um, down below. Uh, you can press the right trigger, by the way. So obviously it's X, B to punch and A to kick and everything like that. The right trigger and left trigger, you can actually grab them. Um... As you just see there, because I'd done enough damage, because I punched our second character enough, there was a little bit of a flame and a little bit of a noise. You press the right bumper to use your um, mad attack, but we didn't knock him out with it, so that's fine. You can press the B button to... <laughs> I accidentally went off myself there. But if you... Yeah, so you can press the right trigger to grab the character and then the B button to push him out. And that will get you the out achievement. And then just keep pressing the X button or the B button, whichever one you want, until you see the flame above the head. Uh, and as obviously I completely missed that then. So I'll just try that again. Um, so, so I might knock him out, which I do. So again, we'll try it again. So yeah. And again, this one you'll probably get in single player as you're going along anyway. Because obviously there's a lot of fighting. So just keep hitting, keep punching until you hear that noise and you see the flame above your character's head. Then press the right bumper when the health is roughly about now. 30% should be fine. And then that should knock him out and get us the mad knockout achievement. Hoorah. And there we go. If you need to get your anger out as well, just, uh, you know, keep spamming the X button if you're so angry. 
Right, so next up, once we've quit out of there, we're back to the main menu. We're going to go on to um, uh, Rumble. So we're going to go back onto Rumble. We're going to go down all the way until we find the University Bridge. We need to win a match now against three other bots. So if you do have a second uh, controller, we're going to not. Uh, we're just going to turn that one off for the second. Um, now there's two ways that you can actually go about doing this. You can join in. Again, the AI in this game is generally easy enough. Um, you shouldn't have too many problems. If you get thrown off the bridge once, that's fine. Just as long as you don't get knocked out the first time. So obviously we're going to go and stick with last man. All players start with two lives. So if you, if you do get knocked out or thrown off once, again, that's fine. Just make sure that you just need to be the last man standing. So all the other three characters need to lose their uh, all their second lives. Now, like I said, there's two ways about going to do this. You can either just get in there, beat the crap out of everyone, or you can just take a step back and leave everyone else beat the crap out of everyone else. So as you can see there, um, I did fight that guy for a little bit, and then I just decided to sort of back off, and then they all started fighting each other, which came in mega handy. And then I just got in there, knocked him out, did we? Did it? Did it? Ah, yeah, there it goes. And then just have to fight the last guy, and then that should be golden. So, again, generally an easy game. No. And there he goes. There, just punched him square in the old genitalia, and that got him square down. That's job done. Yes, bot destroyer. So, uh, yeah. And again, doing it with uh, the last man standing in two lives is the quickest way to go about that. Right, so before we get on with the four, if you want to call it the the, the four main st stories, four main mini games, which take about 10 minutes each, we got one more achievement, left, a sort of miscellaneous achievement left to get. Now, we're going to go back, we're going to go online. So before and in other guides that I, because I was wondering if there was any way to do this and all I could find was people saying that, yes, you needed four human, uh, you needed four Xbox controllers in order to get this done and we're just not feeling that. So I went on to quick, um, went online, went on to quick mode and I managed to find a game. It was only me and one other NPC character, or uh, me and one other human character, as you can see, and then there was two other bots. This still worked. So, again, a couple of ways you can go about this. If you are having trouble actually linking up with someone, create your own game, host your own game, and see if you can do it with three bots. Again, I'm not sure if that will work, um, but it's worth doing that. If not, you may have to have at least one other human dude, or dudette, of course, um, but I'm obviously showing you again. These are the quickest ways that we've, we're doing this And this is the best way that I've shown you how to do this is the fact that you can get it online And you can get it with just two human players as long as there's another two Robots that are fighting there as well. So as you can see I I jumped into a seven minute match and managed to get the achievement there. So that's all good So for the last four achievements then we're gonna go into mad rush. So fight Mad Rush. This is the sort of main story section, if you want to call it that. So these are basically for each one. And again, we'll just um, get rid of the two player, the second player control now. We do not need that. We do not. Ah, take it off. Anyway, no, we do not need uh, two player. So what we'll do now. So basically these four main quests, ma main games, main stories, whatever you want. Uh, they basically just, they're about 10 minutes worth of mini games. And again, you don't have to win these, although they are very easy to win if you want. You don't have to win them, you just have to complete them. So again, there's another couple of ways to go about it. You can just stand still and let everyone just knock each other out and you do absolutely nothing. You can just go away or put something on Netflix or something, you know, put some music on, just chill out. You don't actually have to do a thing. Um, obviously, if you do join in, it will make it go a little bit quicker, so it's probably worth doing it. And I know a lot of people thought this game wasn't that good, but I thought these mini games were actually pretty fun. So, sue me, bruh. Yes, so uh, 
yeah, like I said, it's totally up to you, whatever you, whatever you want to do. Uh, but joining in, it is, you know, some of these games are <laughs> honestly quite fun. Um, so after every mini game that you do, you will unlock the next one anyway. So again, you'll just keep on going, keep on going. You can't really miss it. Um, again, right trigger to pick stuff up and B button to throw in certain mini games like that. And uh, that's 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 pretty much all there is to it, really. Now we've we've got all the miscellaneous achievements out of the way and nicely done. Again, these four main game mini quests, whatever you want to call them, both of them will t all all four of them will take about f uh, forty minutes or so all together. So that's why you're looking at about an hour, um, probably just under if you get lucky with the online achievement right there. But yeah, so that is it. So after you have done. Either the four or five. Again, we ended up with dodgeball on this for, uh, last one. So when you've done all the mini games and big Hulk guy <laughs> starts jocking, don't be jocking off, son. Uh, we will get the unlawful sportsmanship achievement, and then it is just a case then of doing the other three. So again, we'll go back into Mad Rush, and then we will go into again whichever one you want. Does it really doesn't matter? And again, you don't have to win. So I just went into Frats, picked Ivan, or whoever you want, and then you'll do the same thing. You will either stand still and just wait for each mini game to finish, and then you'll just keep pressing the A button now and again, or you can join in and sort of have a bit of a laugh and know that your easy 1000 is almost completos. Uh, again, skip the cutscenes there by pressing the start button. It'll Again, it'll always be the start button to me. And then Ivan loves a lot. And then again, once you go through all the mini games there, you will get the next achievement called Wealthy. Man, I would love to be as huge and wealthy as that bro right there. But, you know, YouTube ads, they suck. And I get about 0.1 tippence of a penny of, uh, yeah, of payment. Uh, so, so, yeah, I'm pretty poor right now. YouTube's not feeding my kids. Shame on you, YouTube. Shame on you! Right, so again, you'll just you'll go ahead and do the same thing with the next lot, whichever it is that you want. And again, you'll just nip through all the mini games by either joining in or by standing still and letting the timer run out on each time. And then eventually you will get the Alley Dweller achievement or the Guardian Angel, whichever ones you went for. Ready? And finally, you will go back to Mad Rush. You will then go ahead and do the last one. Again, for me, it was the Bouncer's Inc. And then, as usual, go through the minigames however you'd like until you finally get that last achievement. And then that is Square Away. And that is a... And we all love, don't we? We all love a easy one-hour, one to two-hour Game Pass Game Edition easy achievements, don't we? We all love it. So, yeah. Mm, it's done. Ready? Fight! Oh, so, once you have finished that final one, you will unlock the Guardian Angel achievement, and that should be all 10 out of 10 achievements for mad streets on game pass nice and easy job done so thank you so so much for watching guys and gals i hope you enjoyed the game and i hope you enjoyed the guide as well and that it helped and of course if it did don't forget to like comment subscribe and share with a friend as well big shout out as always to my patreon supporters youtube members and everyone who interacts with me on the daily thank you so so much for all your support as always it's much appreciated don't forget to check out my new true crime gaming podcast called gaming's darker side and I'll see you on the next one. Big love, homie.